guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers news update video because today was the developer's stream. Now, before I get into this video, guys, there was no indication of when Hawkeye will be released. There is, They didn't say anything about Hawkeye being released, what day he's going to be released, or the war table in general. So if you're here for that, guys, you can turn away right now. But if you guys want to hear about some little nitpicking things that... Uh, were teased and were basically more clarified as well um, and a few other things like the cloning labs uh, gear 2.0 and a few other things like that do stick around and make sure to leave a like comment and sub subscribe if you guys haven't already and make sure to join the discord and follow me on twitter so you keep up to date with all of marvel's avengers all the uh, videos and when i stream as well but now let's get straight into the video so yes, we had the developer stream today, guys, and unfortunately it didn't go as planned. Uh, apparently there were a few uh, technical issues, there were also some glitches as well. Um, so that's kind of embarrassing, I've got to say. Um, but unfortunately I was not able to watch it because I was at work. And obviously, it's, I think it started for them at about 2 p.m. And me in Australia, that's at 9 a.m. And uh, I'm, I was at work, unfortunately. But uh, I do have uh, some of the notes here from Reddit. Uh, so shout out to FT Rodriguez out on Reddit for uh, basically putting all the put it into notes essentially, as well as Miller on Twitter, as we all we all know who Miller is now. Um, so shout out to them for putting it out for the community as well. So I'm gonna go over them in this video and give you my thoughts and opinions about what uh, these things are ba basically about what they what they talked about. So first of all, uh, the gear overhaul is substantial and is progressing, but will still take some time. So this is, of course, gear 2.0 that they've been hinting at for quite some time. Um, apparently, it's going to change the game as we know it. So apparently, it will be worth the wait. So that's very exciting. Uh, Cloning Labs is having some issues. Apparently, crashes with multiplayer. Um, apparently, you know, we've all been experiencing crashes in multiplayer. They have recognized this. They were talking about this, um, and they have got a fix for it. It is coming. We don't know when. Um, and apparently, the Cloning Labs, the level is complete. It's just unfortunate there are some multiplayer crashing. So once they fix that, they said they will release it straight away. So that's very good to hear. Um, apparently the Super Adaptoid um, Omega level challenge will come sooner than Cloning Labs. Which is also going through bug testing now. Uh, the new game plus is going through Q&A and will be out very soon. It is close apparently. So hopefully within the next few months, uh, I would hope. Uh, Clint will come with a new villain, so that's very exciting. I think we already knew that was going to happen. Um, you know, is it going to Mastro or is it going to be someone new? We don't know. Uh, new villains will also be introduced without new heroes, apparently. So we may not always have a hero when a new villain comes out, which is great because I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a lot of new villains in the game. So that is one thing very to look forward to. Uh, they will update the social accounts once Clint is ready to be released. Uh, MCU skins are being looked into. There is something more, I'll go into that in a second, guys. And a roadmap is being discussed, um, which is, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a roadmap. Uh, joining matches while missions are in progress is also being considered. So once we go over to Miller, who's also done a, a few things in there as well. So once we go into the roadmap, so Phil says it comes down to clarification which is basically the dates essentially. Uh, Crystal Dynamics also put into the chat, would love to give dates for all kinds of things, but unfortunately both the dates themselves and whether or not we can message that out is not up to us. So like I've always said, guys, like I'm not defending them. I think, you know, it's been a long time since a lot of this stuff is supposed to be coming out. You know, there's been delays after delays. It's not, I don't think it's good enough to be honest, um, but you have to realize guys with a roadmap and considering that they are Marvel and Disney as well that have got to check this stuff off. It's the same stuff with any Star Wars games. They have to check things off before they actually can put them out for public release. This is why roadmaps aren't, aren't always a great uh, idea because like I've said, if you put a date on something and you can't deliver it by that date, a lot more people will get upset. So, also, Phil says that new takedowns are coming, so that's really cool. Uh, you won't have to wait long for new villains. That's actually one of the things that will be coming out pretty soon, apparently. Uh, next gen update is coming. Yes, it is still planned for early, and then he trails off, apparently. So, uh, could be coming up very, very soon, guys. We don't know. It could be coming next month. It could be coming in March. It's, it looks like it's definitely coming very soon, guys. So, that's very good to see. Might even come just after Hawkeye, or even with Hawkeye as well. So, that's very, very exciting to see. Uh, also, we talked about MCU skins. Now, apparently, he was asked uh, if he cough if they think that MCU skins are coming. Um, and apparently, like you know, it looks like they are in the works, guys. 
um, you know, it's it's definitely one of those things that they, do, they can't say that it's coming, but they're giving us everything to basically up. They're basically confirming it without confirming that they are coming. So, uh, you know, I might do a video of what MCU skins I would like to see in the uh, in the game. If you guys would like to see any, well, I might do a community one as well. So we'll see how we can go about that. Um, one of the questions that I've been always wanting to ask was actually asked, will Cap get a speed and jump boost? Because obviously he does need it. He's not very fast. He should be a lot faster. Uh, and Chris Dynamax replied, last I heard this was something being looked into, but there are other items that have higher priority. Now that is obviously the case. You know, there's a lot of bugs in this game. You know, there's obviously, you know, more content that wants to be released as well. So this is definitely, you know, on the lower end of the spectrum. Was also asked if there are any plans for new or swappable hero abilities for characters. Uh, and Phil said that maybe it with gear 2.0 so that's another thing with gear 2.0 guys so uh, it, like I said it could definitely change up the game that's for sure now this was an interesting point guys because uh, apparently the team talks about going back to the office and how the schedule for that has been pushed back as the, pad as the pandemic rages uh, Layla who was a part of this team who was actually part of the community team for this game uh, says that the community team would be the last to go back so again you know the pandemic, I'm not going to talk about too much guys, but the pandemic in the US, I'm sure you, a lot of you guys know, a lot of you guys who live in the US know that it's not great at the moment. So unfortunately, it looks like they haven't gone back into the office or if they are, they're not going back very often. Um, so that is one thing. And they're like, again, they're all working from home. Uh, so, you know, this does push things back. It does have delays. Like, I don't know if this pandemic wouldn't, didn't happen. Would we, you know, maybe have Black Panther by now? Would we have Spider-Man coming in, you know, in a week or two? We don't know. Uh, but that is definitely one thing to focus on, guys. Uh, and, you know, it's something that we have to take into account. I know we're all waiting for new content, guys. I know that, I know that how many bug fixes are in this game. Like, they, 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 need, they need to fix these. I completely understand it, guys. Trust me, I know. Um, but, you know, you know, it's just the waiting game, to be honest. Like, we're all just waiting for all this, this new stuff. And I think once we do get it, I think it'll be very much worth the wait. But uh, yeah, that's most of the stuff, guys. I don't think I missed too much. Um, if I did, we'll put a thread in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this, guys. What are you guys thoughts and opinions on it? Um, again, you know, unfortunately, we didn't get any news about Hawkeye. But I would hope that we hear something very, very soon, guys. We are all just waiting for that guy. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content in the future. I will stay up to date, guys. I am not leaving this game. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, happy gaming.